Hi, Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Nurul Shazwani binti Abdul Hamid, EA221039. So, today, our group, we will present about volleyball training machines. So, you guys may wondering what is self volleyball training machines. So, so what actually is self training volleyball machine? So, actually, it is uh, exciting and innovative approach to improving the skill and performance of volleyball players. So it involves the use of machine and technology to simulate game situation, deliver consistent and accurate ball placement, and offer players repetitive and controlled practice op opportunities. So this uh, machine will help players to develop correct technique and improve the muscle memory. So we're gonna go to the next slide is objective. So the, the main objective for this uh, report is for to calculate stress and strain experienced by the safe volleyball training machine component under different loading conditions. Uh, second to uh, de determine the shear force and bending machine bending moment in the high and base of safe volleyball training machine. And lastly to analyze the potential torsional loading. Uh, that may occur in the high and base machines. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nurul Asma Akilah. I will present for the chart of this project. The process begins with the identification of the research problem followed by an extensive literature review to understand existing work in the field and clear research objective. The choice of research design is crucial and the project guides the researcher to select and appreciate design. The subsequent step details the specific analytical techniques for data analysis. The flowchart then leads to the presentation of the result, followed by a comprehensive discussion of the finding and their implications. Recommendation for future research or practical applications are provided, and any limitation of the study are acknowledged. Finally, the project concludes with the submission of the final project. This structure approach ensures systematic and organized pro progression through the various stages of the research process, facilitating the successful complete completion of the volleyball training machine. Assalamualaikum, my name is Wan Nur Alia Maishara and my metric number is AA221843. I will be presenting proposed solutions for this project. <clears throat> the proposed solution is to design a 3-in-1 volleyball self-training tool by analyzing problem statement to understand what is the required objectives needed so that we can continue to modify the tool's feature. By understanding problem statement, we design the required features to complete this tool so that it can work accordingly to suit volleyball players. The original dimension of the tool is not very player friendly, so the dimension will change so that the tools can gain more stability and facilitate players. The original tool pool was lower than the volleyball net, so it is unrealistic for it to function well, so we modified the pole height since the tool needs to throw higher balls to player. As for the box, the original box was smaller and it cannot be placed elongated on the base. The purpose of the box are for players to put their balls in the box so that it can be more safe for other people who walk around the court. And for that to happen, we also changed the dimension of the box for it to be more suitable to put at the base. Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Nur Asma Akila and I will present for the question part. We have three questions, which is stress and strain analysis, shear force and bending moment, as we question the for part one, which is stress and strain, we use formula stress of stress equal to F over A and strain is equal to elongation of the leg. Mm, we make uh, analysis at the bar of the volleyball machine, volleyball training machine, and we assume 
force. So we have force uh, 75.48. And we have, so we can find uh, PP for this uh, analysis. Um, so um, we cut at half this bar and uh, we got uh, and we put the formula so we got uh, 104.64 pascal for strain we need to find elongation uh, which uh, use a formula pl over ae so we cut uh, we assume uh, elong elongity of this of this met material is 200 giga and uh, so we put the formula so we get 1.569 times 10 negative power negative 6 meter uh, for elongation so we, we can put it at the strain formula so we got a final answer for strain is 5.232 times 10 power negative 7. For shift was and many moment, we analyzed at the top bar. So we have a uh, force at A, which is 49.05 Newton. Using another information, we can find CY and AY, which is CY. CY equal to five fifty two point seven eight nine two newton and BY over three point seven three four two newton. So we we cut a uh, two side A A A and B B to find a uh, internal force, internal shear, internal shear force at the bar and then the moment so we got a v equal to, for v1 equal to 49.05 newton and moment equal to 49.05 at x plus 191.865 and see v and v2 we have 52.7847842 Newton and moment equal to 52.078442 X plus plus 155.4 for 7 for 795 for the result for traditional loading analysis, we analyze at the wheel using torsion formula, which is TR over J. And for J, we use pi, pi times the power, power of 4 equal to 32. And we get 1.6935 times 10 power 95 meter. We uh information given uh we put at the we put at the formula of question and we got three hundred twenty five point point nine nine five megapascal. That's all for calculation. Thank you. So for the next slide, uh, we go to final purpose. So. So overall, the proposal 3-in-1 molecular training tool addresses the stability, functionality, and safety concerns identified in the problem statement by carefully considering the dimension of the base, full height, and storage box. The redesign tool is tailored to suit the specific needs of volleyball play, offering an effective and safe training solution. Thank you. That's all for me. No. We are in combination part where we can make the machine more advanced, effective and more efficient.
our first recommendation is adjustable setting as we can enhance the facility for speed trajectory and spin this recommendation can allow players to practice variety of shot and skills next recommendation is remote control this feature is for convenient operation it can allow coach or player to make real-time adjustment where we can control it from far from our distance easily the third recommendation that we have is ball capacity where we can increase the ball capacity to minimize the downtime during practice season and we can provide more continuous and efficient training the fourth recommendation is portability and storage where we can design the machine with portability as to ensure easy transportation to different training locations it can incorporate storage compartment for balls and accessories the other relevant recommendation that we got are programmable drills durable and weather resistant data tracking and also compatible with compatibility with training app For this project, we modify existing tool by improving each compartment to achieve required result and improving tools features so that the tools function accordingly to what we have planned for expected outcome. We identify the root cause of the problem so we can understand it better before split it into smaller parts. We also record the objectives of the studies so that we will not get out of track from the original purpose of this project. It is important for us to identify the scope of studies so it is easier to see what is needed to be done for these tools to complete. It also helps us eliminate unnecessary factors so that it will not affect our modifying process.